So I get this whole front uh, elevation, show the roof. You can see the valleys are a uh, closed cut half laced. All right. I can see right now that I've got uh, two sets of, uh, of shutters I'm going to have to detach and replace or detach and reset, I'm sorry, uh, in order to do the siding. We've got a little trim up there. That one actually is loose anyway. We've got a uh, corner post. If there was damage to the screens, you'd want to take some photos and get a close-up so it's showing. Make a note of the size. As I uh, walked around again, I also noticed on the front, there was actually another garden hose reel that would be have to be re uh, detached or reset. Know, it looks like some telephone or some kind of cable box i can put an out and i'm going to put something that because it does have to be detached or reset and i want to get paid for it the door doesn't have any damage it's under cover however we're going to have to detach and reset the uh the light and the uh address numbers and the doorbell all those things start to add up Let's get a picture of the windows in case there is some damage. In some cases, there might be a wrap that we'd have to estimate for. Let's look up here. Looks like we've got some siding trim under there. At the top there, it looks like we have some J trim we got to estimate for. Also have the same at the bottom. And going up the uh, rake there, we see we have some probably F trim. More of the siding trim on the top. Looks like we have a 16 by 7 garage door. And just get a couple of photos so we can see if that had damage, what would we have to do? We would need a photo of the uh, light, again, detach and reset. I'm going to say we got about 11 foot of gutter to attach and reset for the siding and other and corner trim again. Now let's go around to the right elevation. Not much going on here, no windows or anything. We got a gable vent. Got a meter box that's going to have to be detached and reset. I'm assuming these are cable boxes, but again, they're gonna to have to be detached and reset. We've got some wire to get detached and reset. We don't count corners, I don't, on the sides. You're gonna to have to put the corners either on the front and back or the two sides. You can't put corners on all four elevations or you end up with eight corners for four elevations. All right, let's go to the rear. And this is usually the most important one because that's where all your roof penetrations are. I'd want that picture. I see I got four box vents. I see I got probably a five inch HVC vent and a pipe jack. I've got, again, about 11 foot of gutter to detach and reset. Let's come up here and take a closer look at this door and get a photo. Okay, we've got an outlet that's gonna to have to be detached and reset and a light fixture that's gonna to have to be detached and reset. Okay, let's get a photo of this window. All right, this utility is gonna to have to be detached and reset. There's a garden hose reel detach and reset. And the connector, the electrical connection for the HVC unit is going to have to be detached and reset. I'd like to get a picture of the HVC unit because I'll probably put in the tarp protected. And now if we look up here, you can probably see 
that HVC furnace vent has rust on it. So that means by code, reinstallation of materials, I can replace the uh, rain cap and storm collar, the double walled tube, as well as a five inch pipe jack. Over here, we've got 11 more feet of gutter that we're gonna have to detach and reset. All right, now we're to the last elevation. Not much going on here. We've got a vinyl gable vent that's gonna have to be detached and reset. Two shutters. And let's get a photo of the, uh, the window. So that pretty much does it. However, this house actually has fence. Let's assume the fence got uh, damaged all right a lot of times i'll get some photos of a fence say hey we need to remove and replace i'm like hey great how many feet so looks like here we got about a four foot chain link fence all right how about a measurement i mean to me that looks like it's 40 feet but run a tape in the back We've got a, probably a six foot board on board. And if there's damage, show the damage, all right? It could be that it would be, if that were stained and it were splatter, it could be that it need a power wash and that it would, um, would need to be stained. If the damage is deep, then we could put in for remove and replace. And then over here, now we've got a four foot board on board, all right? And again, let's get a run of tape and give me some measurements. All right, so what do we take here? We're at seven minutes. All right. Now, if you're taking pictures, that might take a few minutes longer. My point is, probably in most houses, 10 to 15 minutes, you can properly scope uh, all the damages for all the elevations. All right. It would help to get on the roof to get some better pictures of the roof penetrations. But if I just have what I have here, I can write a really good scope or a really good supplement. So, uh, and that's going to be worth thousands and thousands of dollars versus just remove and replace siding. So, 10 minutes for several thousand dollars. That's a pretty good return on investment. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and good luck in your... Uh, your scoping and your uh, and your claims. Thank you.